improve. And what's happening, you know, is the cells from the epiblasts here are moving to the primitive groove, moving down, and then moving out right here in between the ectoderm and endoderm. So what layer is this? What? Uh, uh, I can't ever say it. I don't understand. Okay, this is the primitive groove. You identified that because there's no notochord. I like you know, the primitive streak. Oh, primitive, well, the primitive streak, yeah, the primitive groove is the depressed part of the primitive streak. And then the primitive folds are the more lateral and raised parts of the primitive streak. Okay, is that okay? Mm -hmm. So you know the cells from the epiblast are migrating to the primitive streak in the, in the primitive groove, and then they move down and they move out. And this is the layer of those cells that are moving out. Name this layer. Name this layer of cells that are moving out. Mesoderm, right? That's how mesoderm oh, okay. forms. Turns under the primitive streak and moves between the ectoderm here and the endoderm here. Okay, is that reasonable? Mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else? I think we have looked at quite a bit of this chick, so let's look at a younger one unless you have some questions. Can you go back to the beginning real quick again? Okay. And just go over that one more time. Yeah, I'll try to do that. I don't think I looked that far on this way. I don't think I did either. Okay, well, we're pretty close to the front. Well, maybe not so much. Yeah, we're pretty close to the front here. How much farther do you want that's, to go? That's about good. That good? Okay. We have optic. We're in the dicephalon right now. Yeah, you see the eyes starting to form here, especially on this side. So you can say that's diencephalon. That's the presence of at least one eye. And the other one is kind of starting a little bit. And what's that space there? Subcephalic. Subcephalic pocket. Pocket. And what's this membrane called? The perineum. I am confused. Say it again. Is that the perineum? Perineum. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Where you have your endoderm and ectoderm, because there's no mesoderm correct. yet. Endoderm and ectoderm only. Now look here. Here you can see two layers of mesoderm. Do you see how they turn back? Uh -huh. They don't go under here. So here we have the somatic mesoderm plus ectoderm. What's that called? I can't remember. Somatofluid. Somatofluid, yeah. So here you have the splanchnic mesoderm and endoderm, and that's called splanchnofluor. Splanchnofluor, splanchnofluor, and that membrane is the proamnion. And what's this cavity called? Sub. Cavity between these two mesoderm layers is the salome. Oh, that's right. Salome is a cavity that's bordered by mesoderm. Okay. That definition is true from the youngest chick to the oldest duffer. Okay, what else? Anything else on the front or anything else? Let's go do another one then. Okay. I forgot.